Hello and welcome back. So in a previous video, I showed you a sample of the 2223 Data Draft Player Hub, and I gave you a general sense of how to use it. But today I wanted to show you the latest version and give a little bit more of a detailed explanation about what went into it and explain how you can use it to make better decisions in fantasy hockey. Now, what this tool is designed to do is to give us a sense of how complete a player is in category leagues, or in other words, how strong is this player in all of these categories combined. So let's take a look at the elements. You have a player search up here. You can obviously scroll down or you can type in in the search bar. Uh, and then figure out, you know, whichever player that you're looking up. If you're looking for a player on the waiver wire, you just type his name in. Then right up here, you have all the per game averages that I typically use on this channel. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, this is all the stuff that I've been using in the preseason coverage and in all of the weekly videos and everything that I do. Um, you use a per game metric because it gives you a sense of what you're going to get on any given night from this player. And then you can kind of tailor that with how many games they play in a specific week to give you a sense of how they're going to perform for your team. So this gives us a better uh, snapshot of what you're actually going to get out of that player better than the overall stats. Uh, because that is, you know, you know, if a guy's got 20 points on the year and he's only played, you know, 15 games, that's much better than if he's got 20 points on the year and he's played 35. So this is uh, obviously a better way to determine uh, the usefulness of a player in fantasy. And then what you see down here is the percentile rank or the percentiles. So it's all of these categories up here. And what percentile does this player rank in terms of the entire league? So a guy like Boone Jenner, he's 93rd percentile in shots. So he's better than 93% of the league in terms of shots per game average. Um, so that's going to help you make decisions because certain players um, are going to have a different rating, which I'll get into in just a second. Um, but when you break it down by the percentiles, it can give you a more nuanced view of what is going into that rating. Um, so for example, uh, if you can look at Boone Jenner is right here. He's at 81. Let's look at uh, Alex DeBrinket. He's really close to that. And so you just type the name in the top, you get Alex Dabrinkit, and you see a completely different picture. So Boone Jenner was way more consistent. He was not lower than 73rd percentile in anything. Uh, Dabrinkit is way higher in his power play points per game, in his shots per game, in his assists per game, his point per game average is pretty high, and even his goal per game is not that bad. And then on top of that, he gets a pretty decent amount of hits for a skilled forward, uh, better than 57% of the league at 1.26 hits per game. Uh, so because he does get a couple of blocks and a couple of hits, he kind of factors in higher than a guy like Kaprizov. If we look at Kaprizov, obviously his offensive metrics are going to be off the charts. As you can see right here, 99, 99, 99, 98. He's pretty amazing in every offensive category. He just doesn't hit or block quite as much as a guy like Dabrinkit. So this is what's going into the percentile rank or the, the this percentile graph right here. Now the rating is this line it's the average of all of these combined it's not weighted now in the future if we're uh, you know if i'm getting some some uh, feedback from you guys and you guys want it to be a bit more precise for a specific uh, reason uh, or whatever i can look into to potentially weighting this a little bit but just for now i wanted to give a sense for category leagues specifically because what this will do for you um, if you are in a category league you typically want to find guys who cover a little bit of everything and one of the reasons that I've been having success this year is because my defense uh, cover a little bit of everything. So I have Charlie McAvoy. Uh, I also have John Carlson. Uh, and these guys are covering a little bit of everything. So let's just look at those two guys specifically. Um, if we go to Charlie McAvoy, he's been uh, getting a ton of blocks, 92nd percentile. His power play points are really good. His assist totals are really good. His point totals are really good. And his lowest is his goal uh, per game average, which isn't that bad. There is room for improvement there. Um, but overall, he's been very solid. And then if you look at, uh, I also have Aaron Ekblad, uh, who I don't see on this list right off the bat. He's a little bit lower uh, because of his offensive numbers. But John Carlson is very similar in terms of he's really excellent in a lot of these categories. He's only a little bit lower in hits per game. Um, a little bit like Boone Jenner in that he's he's covering everything and then obviously his blocks per game 99th percentile so this gives you a snapshot this rating gives you a, a general sense of how you can compare these players but then once you dig into this you get the per game averages at the top the percentile rankings here uh, so it can give you kind of a complete picture of what this player will provide for your fantasy team uh, so that's kind of how to use it. Now, let's just go into a couple of uh, case files. So I'm going to look at some of the comments that I've gotten on my channel recently. 
Uh, one player, uh, one person said, should I accept a trade uh, for Gensel? In return, I get Forsberg and Ruzicka. So let's look up those three three players. So we got Gensel, and Jake Gensel's a 74. So he's really good in all of his offensive categories, and he's even getting a bunch of hits. He just doesn't get any shot blocks. So if you were uh, thinking about this logically, if you didn't care about shot blocks, he would be an excellent player, and his, his rating would actually bump up if we just eliminated blocks. Um, but we're, you know, we're trying to get a complete picture. So if your league doesn't have blocks, then we'll have to, uh, maybe I'll come out with a, a similar version of this just without blocks, maybe with plus minus. Just let me know uh, how I can tailor this to better suit your needs. Now let's look at Forsberg. Uh, that was the other uh, end of this trade, what was coming back in that trade. And Forsberg covers blocks a little bit better. Some of his offensive metrics are a little bit lower, but he's still shooting the puck a ton. He's getting a lot of power play points. He's getting some hits too which is something that you like to see. And then Ruzicka, let's look at him because he's been a, 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 can't spell his name. He's been a guy that's been a, you know, a target for a lot of people as he got uh, elevated to line one in Calgary the, a couple weeks ago. Uh, he's doing pretty well in terms of his percentile rankings and points per game, goals, assists, even power play points. 0.23 is not bad at all. He just doesn't get any blocks. He gets a couple of hits here and there. Um, you would like to see the shots come up a little bit. Uh, but this kind of gives you a sense of what they're going to provide for your team. And in that case, you know, you're making a two for one deal. So it's not apples to apples. But uh, either way, Gensel for Forsberg, it's a pretty fair deal. Ruzicka is kind of a throw in. Uh, but this is how you can use this tool to make better decisions in fantasy. Um, don't take this as gospel. This is obviously there's some good players that are further down on this list just because maybe their blocks are at 3% like Ruzicka here. Um, but this does show you. Um, what uh, more of a complete player looks like. So let's look at the most complete player, and that's Rasmus Dahlin. He's been phenomenal this year. His lowest is 66th percentile in hits, and then he's 99 uh, in assists, 99 in power play points, 92 in blocks. He's getting almost a hit and a half per game. So he's covering everything, which is why his ranking is so high. Uh, obviously, a guy like Matthews, you're going to expect to see him way at the top here in all of these offensive categories, but he's also getting some hits and he's getting some blocks this year, uh, which is something that you like to see. Speaking of hits, I just want to see, because I have uh, McDavid on a number of my teams and it feels like he's hitting more and he's not quite as much as Matthews. Obviously, he's 100% in almost every category, but he's just not quite hitting and blocking as much. So Take this into consideration. Um, if you're in a league, you know, that's a points league that doesn't care about hits and blocks, then obviously uh, we'll have to tailor something to you specifically. And if you want that, uh, you can get this tool. And uh, there's also a goaltending version of this, which I'll cover in a video upcoming. Um, but you can get access to these and all of the visualizations I use on the channel in the Patreon link in the description below. Uh, for $3 a month, you get access to all the visualizations and player hubs. For $5 a month, you get all of that, plus access to our community Discord channel, uh, where we have a lot of really knowledgeable fantasy managers, um, some of which uh, cover different teams that uh, kind of give us a little bit more insight into who's starting on a given night or who's injured or how guys are playing in markets that we don't get to watch all the time. But they're both really excellent resources, and guys that are in that Discord group have noticed a difference in how they're performing in their fantasy leagues. We have a lot of guys. We have a couple of guys who are still undefeated, um, a couple of guys who only lost once or twice uh, thus far through uh, nine weeks in the season, 10 weeks in the season. But this is a tool that can definitely help you out uh, in fantasy. So if you'd like it, it's in the Patreon link in the description below. Uh, stay tuned for the goaltending version of this. I'll be covering that in a video in the next day or two. Uh, but I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.